Yeah, hi friends, Doc South here, and interesting day yesterday at work. As you know, I work for a, a supermarket, and of course we had that uh, that storm front came through, and uh, well, it kind of, you know, people weren't able to, uh, my fellow workers weren't, in some cases, not able to get to work. Uh, the overnight was fraught with all sorts of storms and threats of heavy winds, I guess even possibility of a of a twister. And so uh, a lot needed doing yesterday, uh, yesterday when I got to work. Oh my God. And you know, one thing uh, they had me do was to neaten up the uh, aisles, the, uh, the shelves. Right. I, gosh, I think I took care of the, uh, oh Lord have mercy, uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, I think seven or eight uh, rows of shelving, right? And that's that's quite a chore, getting it all back to where it looks half decent. You know, things are where they belong, matching the tag, the price tag, and all. It's a, and I got to thinking how supermarkets, and I've thought this before. It's nothing new for me, but it really hit home trying to put it all together. Uh, with people, you know, trying to buy things, the store was open, you know, I'm trying to neaten it up. People are asking me where, uh, I don't know where, uh, Aunt Jemima syrup is or what have you. And, you know, that kind of thing. And I'm, I'm just, <laughs> it, it, it was interesting and it was, it was, you know, I was happy to do what I was doing. Uh, but it was, it was a chore and took quite a while, truth be known. Uh, cereal boxes were all, you know, I guess the day before, the people that were close by the store knew that a storm was coming. They went and bought, you know, you know how you buy everything <laughs> when you think you got a storm coming. Uh, and it was, or, you know, like a snow squall or something. Well, okay. So, yeah, again, it was, it was wild getting it all back in order. But, you know, it, it just hit me how... Once it was all put together, I kind of stood back and looked, and I said, you know, this really looks cool. Look at this. Everything's where it belongs, but look at the variety of food we are offered uh, and in any supermarket, not just ours, but any supermarket is a veritable paradise for your belly. <laughs> you get right down to it. There are so many things that we we can uh, that we can pick from to take home and eat i mean it used to be i think you were lucky you know back in the caveman days you were you were lucky to go get a, a you know bring down a saber tooth tiger you and your pals and uh, and bring that home uh, cut it up cook it on a fire and uh, you know, and and, you know, and that was that uh, dessert? You got no no ice cream, I can tell you that. No. <laughs> Unless you went out and got some ice, if it was the ice age, I guess, yeah, you could gnaw on, a, gnaw on a, uh, an icicle, I suppose. Uh, but y you get the idea. There's nothing to you could buy to brush your teeth with. Uh, there was, you know, no frying pans, no, 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 pre-cut french fries. <laughs> there was nothing uh, to speak of except what you found on the trail. And uh, and hopefully you ate it and it didn't eat you. Uh, it, things have really changed. And yet, you know, there'll be a day where I would imagine stores, prob stores are kind of an expensive proposition. You need people to keep them clean, people to run the cash registers, people to stock the shelves, people to unload the trucks, the delivery trucks. Oh my God, there's so much to do. And eventually I think, I got a hunch someday it's going to get computerized. Computers seem to be the thing that's happening. And I'll bet you you'll, you'll order and stuff will, there'll be this like wild um, assembly of belts and and lifting and elevators and stuff that will move the food to your particular point where maybe outside the building, you you pick it up, you pay for it with your credit card, and you throw it in the, uh, in the trunk of your car, and uh, bingo, there it is. 
I'll bet you there'll be something like that. It'll be uh, more mechanized. There'll be, uh, perhaps rather than clerks, there'll be, well, there'll probably be machinery that handles it. I think as it is now at the warehouses, I think uh, the stuff that comes in comes in on pallets, and I got a feeling that that gets loaded onto pallets, I think computer-generated. I think. I could be wrong. Uh, but uh, it's it's amazing how it all somehow gets to us and to a given store. And it's, I'm assuming, com uh, computers must somehow handle the deal. It's, it's utterly fascinating. And yet, when it's all said and done, it's mom cooking something at the stove. The kids uh, screaming, hey, when's supper ready? Dad coming home from work. And uh, everybody's sitting down, hopefully, and uh, and eating. You get right down to it. It's a pretty cool thing we got going for food. Sure, uh, again, like I said, sure beats heck out of waiting in a in a river full of piranha fish, trying to get a catch yourself a snake to eat. Uh, it's 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 it, it's you get right down to it. Pretty neat. So the next time you're uh, sitting there watching TV with a big bag of potato chips on your lap, just just remember, yeah, a lot of people really, really did a major pile of work to get that bag into your hands. You get right down to it. It's amazing, the work involved. And, uh, oof, I, and I honestly think uh, there'll come a day when it, even the stores will be a thing of the past. And it'll be, uh, I don't know, some Something with like a helicopter, a mini helicopter will bring you your your groceries, drop them in, in some kind of chute uh, on your roof or something. Huh? I'll bet you. I'll bet you. Well, we'll see. Anyway, I just thought I'd say. And uh, again, the, uh, the store workers, uh, even though I'm sure uh, with all the storms and all, they had things to do at home. Nope, they were at work uh, doing their thing. Get right down to it. Pretty interesting, decent people and very hardworking. By the way, if you're looking for good exercise, sign on at a, at a supermarket. <laughs> you will not need the gym. <laughs> you will not need it. Uh, you'll see all the walking you do and the lifting and stooping and oh my God. Yeah, well, you'll see. Anyway, I'll see you later. Bye now. God bless. Actually, I got to get to work. We'll see you now. Bye-bye.